So good morning guys. Uh, I'm getting to start off the vlog today because we're in separate cars. Uh, <laughs> it's close us to go to work and here in a little while. Uh, but we are going to get some breakfast at Cracker Barrel because it's delicious and it's Saturday and we can do whatever we want. But then I gotta run some errands. Um, so because she's at work, I'm gonna take the camera today, uh, which is the first time I've done this, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, I need to go get a timed fish feeder. Sounds incredibly boring. Uh, um, but then I'm going to probably stop by a Starbucks or something like that that has better Wi-Fi than my phone does and see what I can do about uploading our first video. So we've now finished editing it um, and I would just have to get it actually put on the uh, YouTube page. We're now on our way to Cracker Barrel and in the same car. Hi. Because I don't know where Cracker Barrel is, but she does. Yay. Kelsey won't play me in checkers though because she's afraid she'll lose. I am not. Or do. Do too. Shut up. <laughs> it's only funny when people have seen the Star Wars movies make that joke. I've seen one. You've seen three quarters of one because she fell asleep in it. And she won't watch the rest because she won't let me watch it with her. She's boring. You've, you've seen three quarters of it twice. The same three quarters. Lock your car. Once again, I have to tell her. So we just got done at Walmart. Um, we actually both went. Uh, I know I said I was going earlier, but we didn't. We had more time after we ate than I thought we would. Um, so yeah, but we got a few things. Uh, we did. I did get the automatic fish feeder that I was hoping to get. Um, but then I got a little terracotta plate, like for one of these little, one of the one of the little, little pots. Yeah, pots. We got two new creatures for our fish tank um, that are right now in our little mini tank that we picked up the other day. Um, one of which is a frog, a little dwarf frog um, that mostly stays underwater. But uh, you have to feed him, you have to feed him in particular with these little pellets that sink. Uh, and so they said that the best the best way to feed them because they can't like dig through the gravel very well is to put them on a little plate. We'll see how well this works. I'm gonna put them into the big tank tonight, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we're going to visit a friend of ours in Traverse City, Michigan. Um, and so, but we're leaving on Monday, and so I wanted to put them in the big tank so that the automatic fish feeder could feed all of them at once um, while they're all together. And I think it'll be fine, because um, they seem to be doing very well and they don't seem to be sick or anything, so. But now we're going to pick up my car and check out Kelsey's car because there's a belt, the belt or something might be wrong, so. <laughs> so we made it to Starbucks, well I made it to Starbucks. Kelsey went on to work, um, so it'll be pretty much me for the rest of the day. Uh, we got both of our cars looked at a little bit and uh, put some new, put some, not, well I guess new, more fluid in for a few different things, transmission fluid and oil, things like that, just checked the levels. Um, so I'm heading to Starbucks now to probably do some editing uh, and or see if I can upload our first video. So, so I'm on my way home now. I've spent, oh lord, I don't even know, three hours maybe at Starbucks, three or four hours. Just hanging out and uh, I did some editing, which was pretty cool because it's the first time I really ever done that. Um, our first video I got uploaded. Uh, to some extent, I haven't made it public yet because I'm still working on putting a title and stuff in there because I didn't want to do that without Kelsey because I knew she'd want to do it. Uh, so I made it home. Uh, I'm now back at the house. I'm about to see what I can do about, oh, it's much darker over there. Uh, see what I can do about this fish feeder and our little tank and things like that. But I wanted to show you something before. So I had this uh, old cup from a, from the, in my internship. I got a we have a cafe there at the museum, and so I got <laughs> this drink and I had it in the car, and it was fine. And then I went to Starbucks and stayed there for a while, and then I came back to the car, and it wound up looking like this. It was a normal shaped cup, 
when, <laughs> before I went into the coffee shop. And it has now shaped the sides into like these little indentions of my cup holder. It's got the cup holder has a little bar on the bottom. And so the bottom of the cup, I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, has an indentation in it. And I don't know. It was just, I've never had that happen before in my car. I mean, my car does get very hot. It's a black car. So sometimes it does, it doesn't uh, cool down real well. But I don't know. That was just interesting. So that's all. Anyway, so at the store, I was saying we got this automatic fish feeder, which is this. Um, it's hopefully will work while we're gone on our short trip. Um, we'll see, though. I don't, I mean, it is from Walmart, so who knows how reliable it is. But uh, we'll figure it out. I'm going to open it up, actually, real quick. I'm curious, and I don't like things that are in packages. So, yeah, so it's just this little drum that then spins, I think. Yes, and then it comes out of this little orange tube. It can either just sit right on top of the aquarium over like a hole or something like that, or it can clamp to the side, and I'm probably gonna clamp it just because that sounds like a better idea. And it takes one double A, which I think I have, so that's good. Didn't think about that. I knew it was battery operated, but didn't know what kind of battery. So I haven't been in a whole lot of the vlogs lately, I guess because I've been at work and stuff. So you've seen a lot of Kelsey. Um, so I guess now I guess it's my turn to do a little bit of vlogging. Um, so I guess I was just going to talk a little about myself, I guess. So I guess it's a little weird, uh, especially the people who may already know me. But, so you can skip this part. Um, obviously, uh, me and Kelsey are both 21. Um... I'm in college at the same school as she is. Uh, we're both in college at DePaul. I'm a music major. I'm a vocalist, so I'm a singer. Um, I do a lot of opera and classical music is mainly what I do. It's what I study at school. Um, but I do also enjoy singing all sorts of different things. <laughs> um, sometimes to the uh, annoyance of others, but most people are used to it by now. Uh, I am from Tennessee, um, so I wear my UT hat every day. Uh, and, uh, you know, I have, a, I have a little sister, and my mom and dad both live in Tennessee, um, to where I grew up, to where I lived my whole life, uh, um, before I came, obviously before I came to Indiana for school, um, and that was where I met Kelsey, was at school. Uh, so this is, uh, this is, I guess, the first summer that I've spent entirely away from Tennessee. Usually I go back to Tennessee. Um, and I'll come up and visit Indiana or, um, Kelsey would sometimes come down to visit Tennessee, but because of my internship this year, I got to, I had to stay cause of course I had to be in Indiana to go to the museum. Um, so I guess that's about it. That was just a little bit. Um, I just hadn't really been able to, been able to sit down and talk to the camera before, uh, before now. So, uh, I think I am going to play some video games now. Obviously, I don't get to play a whole lot when Kelsey's around because we're usually doing things together and it's really boring for her to sit there and watch me play video games. So recently, I uh, a while back, I bought a copy of uh, Grand Theft Auto V um, because I had played it on a friend's computer, but I'd never played it on, uh, I never played it on my own. And I bought it from a pawn shop in Greencastle that sold it to me and when they sold it to me it was like the main the main play disc was scratched beyond belief it was awful um but i mean they they sold they, she sold it to me and she showed it to me and she said you know you can buy it if you want to uh, and so i said yeah i went ahead and bought it um she said uh if it, if it doesn't work i can always return it i can bring it back and return it i was like oh okay awesome cool that's easy um, well, I took it home, took it back to my dorm, uh, and I, I sat with it for a little while. I didn't get to start playing it uh, until a little while later. Uh, it was probably about two weeks, maybe, or so before I actually tried to play it. Um, and it, it was it was super strange because it, it started to run. It started to run all right, and I would get through 
about the uh, the first. There's a prologue mission at the beginning of the game, and I get through the prologue mission, and then I would want to play. You know, I want to keep playing, and it would just stop. It would just the game would freeze up for a second. It would quit, and then the whole thing would start over. It would go back to the title screen, the original loading screen, all that stuff that starts the game. And I couldn't figure out why. I kept trying it. I cleaned off the disc. I even tried somebody else's play disc that didn't have scratches all over it, and it did the exact same thing. And that was when I knew it was probably not the disc. For the longest time, I just sat there with the scratch disc, assuming it was broken, and thought I was out $10 and was annoyed. Um... Uh, finally, what I ended up realizing was that it was when I tried the other disc was that it was probably something to have to do with the download portion of the game as well. Um, it was something to do with the way I downloaded on my hard drive that it was just messed up or something along those lines. So anyway, I eventually I deleted the download that I had on my Xbox already and then re-downloaded all the information that it needed. And although it doesn't always read the play disc, uh, sometimes I have to put it in over and over again. I did get to. Uh, finally play the game and actually started playing it. So that's what I've been playing recently. So hopefully I will still be able to do that now. So I finished playing video games. Uh, it's about 8.40 now, uh, which is a little late for dinner, but um, I don't know, I wasn't terribly hungry until now. So I'm gonna make some mac and cheese, just some good old, good old craft, the usual stuff. While that's boiling, uh, I wanted to show you guys, let's turn the light on real fast. Something that I really like that's kind of neat, uh, that just has to do with Tennessee, which is this picture frame that has a lot of stuff to do with Knoxville, where I'm from. I don't know, it was just kind of, it's kind of interesting, it's fun to look at, <laughs> but it's also nice to have as a decoration and a reminder of my home. But you can see all of our random decorations. The paw and Broncos and Star Wars and <laughs> Assassin's Creed and many random things that I happen to have in my room uh, back at college that we then were able to use. And this stuff is Kelsey's, but either way, still boiling away, making pasta. Let's set this back down real fast. And. Back to work. So I think it's about done. Looking good, looking like macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna let it sit for a little longer cause because you put the milk and stuff in it, it makes it a little runny. Um, but the longer you let it sit, the longer you let it simmer, uh, some of that liquid boils off. So I finished cooking. I have got my mac and cheese here and I've got some peach tea to drink. But So for now, I think I'm going to watch some white collar uh, on Netflix and probably do some more editing, finish up the or finish up or just try to do some more of the work on the video that I started earlier, as well as working on this one that I'm doing right now. Probably pretty much do that until Kelsey gets home because it's getting pretty close to when she should get home anyways. So, see you then. I'm home. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> work was great. She's lying. Um, it really wasn't that bad. Yeah, but. She just likes to complain. I'm just glad I'm home. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing? Alright, so I talked about this earlier, I'm pretty sure. Um, but we are going to transfer our Cory catfish, um, green Cory catfish, and <laughs> our little frog over to our big tank with our other fish um, so that they may frolic and be merry.
Oh, well, I don't know if she'll mention it later, but I did I did save some of the mac and cheese that I made so that Kelsey could have some when she got. He did. It's right here. All right, I think we're good. I'm going to carry this in here. <laughs> Get off him. Bagheera. <laughs> Go ahead in the corner. Get out of it. There. Here he goes. He went straight to the corner. Weirdo. So we got all of our new, well, I guess our one new fish and a uh, new frog into their new home. They uh, seemed to take to it pretty well. Uh, the catfish was all over the place uh, for most of the evening, and I got the frog to get with some little helpful nudges from the net, but I got him to get on the on the little terracotta plate and eat some of his food. So that was good. Um, but they seem to be doing well, so we'll check on them in the morning and see if they're still fine, which I'm assuming they would be. Um, I think now we're just about to go to bed and to get, uh, I think we may do some more editing and finish uploading our video, um, actually uploading it, and then watch some of our YouTube people. Okay, fine, I'll do it here. Just a little bit. You can do no. it here. No. So, tomorrow, I'm working all day, basically, and then, <laughs> um, and then... We're packing. That's probably it. I don't know. We I'm might go we might vlog movies. tomorrow. We might not. I'll bring. I'll, I'll probably bring the camera because I might go. I'm, I'm gonna have to drive back towards Greencastle where DePaul is um, to return uh, some rented DVDs. So I might drive around DePaul and video some of the campus and things like that. Is that it? So that being said, good night.